Hey, what's up, everybody? This is Piranha. Um, today I'm just uh, I'm gonna show y'all a little trick that I do with my wobbles, with my bass wobbles. Um, I've seen a lot of guys on YouTube trying to post videos about how they do their wobbles, and they just clickety clack through them real fast, and they're just not very informative. Um, I'm gonna try to be informative today. I'm gonna breeze through it though, because I've only got about 10 minutes or so on a YouTube video. So let's just go ahead and get right to it. Um, I'm in Fruity Loops 9. Um, I'm gonna use Albino today. Um, stick with me through the video, even if you're not using Albino, if you're using another synth, um, you'll see how this trick's applicable. So what I'm gonna do is go to, uh, what is it on my presets? I'm in Albino 3. Um, diverse sounds uh, this initial preset down here will take me to a, a blank uh, saw uh, saw waveform okay so we're gonna start with that sound um, we'll take it down an octave uh, we'll route LFO 1 over here to, uh, uh, to filter 1 cutoff which is already routed um, Turn that zero all the way up to one. And we'll turn this cutoff knob down a little bit. Okay, so everybody knows that trick, right? Just how to get your basic wobble. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is in my piano roll, it's C4, I'll just draw that out for one bar. Uh, and just so that it doesn't bleed into the next one, I'm going to turn release all the way down. So. so now it seems to loop pretty seamlessly. I'll export that as a wave, and I'm just going to put it on my desktop server so it's easy to find. I'll call it Wobble. Uh, okay, we'll export that. Now I'll start a new project, and I'll add a sampler, and we're gonna add that sound that we just made, that wobble. Now, in Fruity Loops 9, you know, I mean, you hear I'm just holding down this. And it's looping forever. But that's not important right now. Um, okay, so what I'll do is I'll go ahead and the same wobble sound, I'll clone it a few times, like. Uh, we'll just do it twice for now. Up here, I uh, will go to my uh, my my instrument properties, and I'll go to pitch, and I'll turn pitch up to like that notch. This is the part you want to play with. Now, when I play the sound, it's going to do this because you see what that envelope's doing. We'll uh, drag that attack out just a little bit. That's too much. Okay, that sounds kind of neat. All right, so like, go back to. <coughs> sorry. We'll draw that out, and now on the second one, on the second instance that we uh, that we cloned, like I'll draw that down, or I'm sorry, I'll turn that amount, that pitch amount down. Uh, so now you hear that one's doing that. And then this one, I don't know what the hell we'll do. I don't know. Okay, so we've got three of the same sound. One's doing this. This one's doing this, and this one's doing this. The second two kind of sound the same. So like, I could draw out this first channel, you know, or I mean, sorry, this first pattern. And then I might draw out the second one and just use the second instance that I cloned where I pitched it, where I pitched the envelope a little bit different. Um, Let's draw out something like this. On this third pattern, I might take this third instance. I don't know, just draw it out something like that. So now when I play all this, well before I even play it, I'm gonna throw in some kicks and some snares for you. 
this loud. Let's try this one. And this. Um, just in my drums. So now when I play everything, um, the wobble's gonna be like. Basically, the point I was trying to illustrate with this video is, um, is that uh, a lot of times it can be a lot of fun to get your wobble going on in your synth, be it that you're using albino or massive or, or whatever synth you're using, um, and just just crank that LFO on sync. Um, at four, at eight, at sixteen, at whatever. So it's you know wah 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 on on sync with you know with your tempo or whatever. And you know you can just take that that sound and make it do that, or make it do, or just leave it alone, or just you know way up. Now that can be fun. Um, if you've got a MIDI controller with a pitch bend, you could do like this. Oh. I don't know, stuff like that can be a whole lot of fun to do, and a lot of producers seem to forget that, or, or, or just not even realize that you can do that. Um, and I guess that's my video, kids. Hope you learned something. Easy. www.myspace.com slash piranha dub.